Back in 2014, a fireball was seen in the sky above Papua New Guinea. The object was initially described as being a small meteorite, and is something that commonly happens all across the world. However, according to a recent memo that was released by the US Space Command, they detailed that it was actually a fast-moving object that had come from another star system, and as of right now, many questions have been put forward. The reason the US Space Command knew this wasn't a meteorite is because it was travelling over 130,000 miles per hour, or 210 kilometers per hour. Those who worked on this study said this speed is much faster than any other meteorite that's been detected entering our system. According to the scientists and researchers who worked on this study, they gathered the majority of the information back in 2019. The authors of the study said that after looking at all the data, they came to the realization that due to the object's speed and trajectory, they're 99% sure that this object wasn't a meteorite, and suggested that it likely came from somewhere beyond the solar system, with one of the scientists saying that it likely came from a planetary system or a star in the Milky Way galaxy. Oddly enough, you would think that such a discovery would interest many scientists within this field of study, but it seemed that once the team made the discovery, the study was never going to see the light of day. What's even more strange is that shortly after this discovery was made, the US government stepped in and made the discovery classified, stopping it from being peer-reviewed or published in scientific papers. This is one of the things that people often criticise when it comes to these types of discoveries, saying that whenever something interesting like this is discovered it never seems to reach the masses, and usually ends up getting buried or lost. Interestingly, the scientists revealed that this discovery was made back in 2014, and predates the discovery of the mysterious space object Oumuamua. It's strange that this object approached us at speeds exceeding meteorites, and would burn up in the atmosphere and land in the ocean, for us only to then be visited by another object a few years later, with again scientists and researchers saying that the new object Oumuamua acted strange. Some have suggested it's almost like the second object was sent our way because the first object ended up in the ocean. Amir Siraj, a theoretical astrophysicist at Harvard University, said that he hopes that the study will get published, and revealed that he's working behind the scenes so that the scientific community can conduct further research into what this strange object is. On the 19th of October 2017, we were visited by something that scientists couldn't initially explain. It was called a Muamua, and astronomers first noticed this object travelling through our solar system. The object in question had come from another solar system, and people quickly started to speculate what the object was. Many scientists found it to be an astronomical rarity when the discovery was seen coming from outside our solar system. Many found the appearance of the object to be both welcoming and at the centre of much media interest. However, it didn't take long for announcements made by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration to quickly change the tone of those analysing the interstellar visitor. Known as a Muamua, scientists began to realise that the object was far more than just a dry rock, much like those found orbiting between Mars and Jupiter within the asteroid belt but that it was largely an unknown body that was seen travelling towards Earth, and at the time appeared to be carrying a wide variety of rare isotopes and materials. Described as being long and cigar-shaped, the discovery was first analysed by teams of trained radio telescope engineers, who tried to see if the object was not broadcasting any type of signal, and then another team of astronomers led a project with the goal of analysing the electromagnetic spectrum of the object, to better understand its composition and makeup. The findings showed that the object was most likely filled with organic material on the inside. Interestingly, A.V. Loeb, a top and respected theoretical physicist who is a professor of science at Harvard University, suggested that after looking at the data, the mysterious space object Oumuamua may be an advanced probe. He detailed that the object in question is incredibly thin, and had an extra push that made him question its origins. 
He said the following during an interview. I said maybe it belongs to another civilization. I just put it in a scientific paper and didn't think anything of it. We didn't have any press release. Then it went viral and the public got extremely interested. And the thing that really surprised me is my colleagues were pushing back. They were very upset that this possibility was even mentioned. We had a seminar or lecture about this object at Harvard. And a colleague of mine after the lecture said this object is really weird. I wish it never existed. Now to me, I was really appalled by this. How can you say something like this? You should be happy whatever nature gives you. You learn something new. If something doesn't look right, it actually teaches us how it's a learning experience. We learn we have to revise the way we think about reality. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. You shouldn't always be in your comfort zone. And I think that the future is going to be the same as the past. So I actually see it as a blessing. End quote. Oumuamua showed a really strong non-gravitational acceleration. This tells the researchers that its motion indicated that gravity was not the only thing directing its path. Many people have put forward their theories, one of which is that this object is extraterrestrial in nature. The fact that it moves like nothing researchers have seen before could indicate that it's under intelligent control. Mr. Siraj, who was the director of interstellar object studies at Harvard's Galileo Project, said the following. The nitrogen conclusion has received a lot of attention. However, we show that the nitrogen model requires a mass of heavy elements that exceed the total quantity locked in stars, the absolute theoretical maximum, which means that the model is not ruled out. We don't know what a muamua was, we just know that it's not nitrogen since the mass budget would be untenable. There's no way to know what a murmur was since it's already gone. All plausible possibilities, including the artificial origin one, must be kept in mind during observations of future interstellar objects like a murmur. All of the existing theories regarding a murmur's provenance invoke never-before-seen astrophysical phenomena including an ultra-porous aggregate a hundred times less dense than air, a planet fragment that was tidally disrupted, exotic icebergs made of pure hydrogen or pure nitrogen, or a piece of artificial technological equipment. This isn't the only interesting discovery that's been made in recent years. Something somewhere out deep in the vastness of space is some strange, anomalous, mysterious object that continues to throw extremely large blasts of radio waves out from around it in all directions traveling at the speed of light. Fast radio bursts, or FRBs for short, have always been a mystery for astronomers and scientists in the field trying to understand the strange nature of the cosmos. But this new finding might help to shed light on what might be causing these strange signals. When astronomers turn their attention to the possible source of these FRBs, they discovered an area with an extremely strong magnetic field, suggesting that FRBs come from an unexplainable object that exists in a very intense galactic environment, containing an extremely strong magnetic source. Scientists are still trying to understand what could be causing this extreme magnetic source, and not many theories have arisen since its discovery back in January of 2018. The lead author on the matter, Emily Petrov, working out of the Netherlands Institute for Radio Astronomy, claimed that researchers are directly probing the local environment of a source in a distant galaxy, said to be responsible for this matter more than 3.8 billion light years away. The current theory of the cause is said to be that of a supermassive black hole that might have affected a nearby entity causing the source of the magnetism though any additional information is completely unclear on this matter. Still, it appears that the team is hard at work attempting to gather as much information as they can that's led them to that of the supermassive black hole, or a nearby neutron star. The research group is confident that in a few years, more creative theories will emerge to help explain this strange radio anomaly coming from deep space, and what it could mean for the extreme local galactic environment.
As of April 2022, scientists and researchers have said that the well signal is the strongest candidate for an extraterrestrial radio transmission ever detected. Before the establishment of the SETI project in 1973, the only radio telescope working to uncover the mystery of extraterrestrial life was that of the Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Observatory that was turned on back in 1963 and had the sole purpose of listening out into the cosmos for extraterrestrial signals. The strange thing was that 14 years after it was first turned on, it received a signal that many deemed the most substantial piece of evidence for extraterrestrial life regarding the SETI project involving radio telescopes. On the 15th of August in 1977, a 72-second long transmission was captured while the Big Ear Telescope was pointed towards the constellation Sagittarius that bore the unexpected hallmarks of extraterrestrial origin. In fact, prior to this event back in 1959, researchers put forth a theory that if contact was ever made, it would likely be that in the radio wave frequency of 420 MHz, which is the specific frequency naturally emitted by hydrogen, the most common element in the universe, and therefore likely familiar to all technologically advanced civilizations. Oddly enough, the 72 second long transmission was exactly within the 420 MHz frequency, with peaks and lows exactly equal to each other in variation marking that not only was this a mathematical symmetrical frequency, but there's no possible way that this frequency could have a non-artificial origin. This 72 second transmission was given the title of the Well Signal, which was named after the lead researcher who discovered the signal and the data wrote the small side note of Well to indicate the unbelievable nature of the data. Scientists and researchers who don't agree with this outcome have struggled to explain what this signal could have been from, and so it could very well be the ton a lonely planet out in the Sagittarius constellation. We heard the radio signal of a greeting more than 25,000 light years away. Nikola Tesla was also allegedly said to have tapped into something mysterious. Though his influence in history has been astounding, the small broadcasting device we know as the radio has not been around very long. In fact, its inventor Nikola Tesla did not first conceive of the device until 1885. Despite the young age of the device, it was made apparent that Mr. Tesla was far ahead of his own time when first coming up with its invention, being the only inventor of his time to be made aware of the electromagnetic spectrum and the ability to tap into its powers and uses. Oddly enough, Tesla wrote extensively in his notes that when he made the first radio capable of receiving and broadcasting his signal, as soon as he turned on the device he could already hear another person's voice on the other side. He would later go on to claim that the people were transmitting him a signal with those of beings living on the surface of Mars, and that they were attempting to make first contact with him. This was only made more eerie as Nikola Tesla wrote that the voice was that of a man calling out his name, saying Tesla 123 over and over again, before the signal cut out entirely. Many researchers speculate that the signal could have been nothing more than background radiation misinterpreted as solar wind by the sun. However, many believe that perhaps something far more creepy could have been going on in the background and that perhaps Nikola Tesla had picked up a strange frequency that was being broadcast to him. No explanation for this strange occurrence has been provided, and still many more speculate that perhaps Nikola Tesla made contact with something not quite human. So what do you make of these interesting space discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.